All right, here we are. We're going to take a quick look at Premiere Pro. We are going to go in and figure out how to set up a custom sequence. If you wanted to make a video that you could use as a YouTube short for TikTok, you're not going to use a video that is short and wide. You're going to use a video that's tall and skinny. So uh, I'm going to go through this process of how to set this up and I'm going to do this. I'm just going to call this the quote project and I'm going to click create. And that's gonna bring us here uh, so that I can start editing. I'm just gonna make sure I'm in the editing workspace uh, so that you can see how this lays out in your particular uh, editing stuff. If yours doesn't look like this, go to Window, Workspaces. Make sure you're on editing and then just for good measure, click Reset to Save Layout. And this is what you should be seeing when you open a new project. What we're gonna do now is gonna go down here to the New Item button. I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna click sequence. I'm gonna show you what we normally do, which is we go to AVCHD, 1080p, and we usually use 1080p 30. So I'm just gonna call this, uh, and you can see actually right here, 16, nine, all right? So I'm gonna just call this 16 by nine, and I'm gonna click okay. And when I do, you can see how that opens up here, and it is 16 units wide by nine units tall. I'm gonna go ahead and create another one and the process for both of the other two I'm about to do would be the same. You go to sequence, but instead of using the available presets, you go to settings and then here under editing mode, you're gonna scroll up to the top, you're gonna to click custom. That is now going to allow you to change the frame size. This is 16 by nine. Again, that is 16 wide, nine tall. So what we're gonna do now is actually just flip this. We're gonna make this 1080, and we're gonna make this 1920. And when I do, instead of 16 by nine, this is now nine by 16. Uh, I wanna make sure that I am working under square pixels here, and then I'm gonna go down, and if I would like to, to make sure I always have this available, I can click save preset and then I can give that a name. So this is nine by 16 for social. We'll just call it that. I'm gonna click okay. And now I have saved that sequence. And down here under custom, I have several that I had made already, uh, but this is nine by 16 for social. So I'll just make sure I'm clicked on that, give it a name, and I'll just call that nine by 16. And now I'm going to click okay. And when I do that, you can see instead of being uh, wider, it is now taller. Uh, they're the exact same dimensions, just the opposite. So I now have nine by 16, I have 16 by nine. I wanna show you how to do another one, right? Just in case you wanted to create some sort of video uh, that's a square that you could use uh, on some form of social media, Instagram, for example. Again, I'm gonna come back to new item. I'm gonna click sequence. I'm gonna go back to settings and then it's already on custom, but if it wasn't, you would just click in there, scroll to the very top. And now for this one, I'm going to just set it to 1000 by 1000. And when I click out of that, you can see that this is now one to one. That means it's whatever it is wide, that's exactly what it is tall, leaving it at square pixels. And I'm going to save preset here. I'm gonna call this one by one square. And then I'm gonna click okay. This process will go through saving my sequence so that the next time I go in here, instead of going into AVC HD or whatever, if I know that I'm gonna create something that I want to be a perfect square, I can just come down to my custom folder where I've saved that. And I'm gonna call this one by one. And then I'm gonna click okay. And now you can see that my video will be a perfect square. Again, these different options are great for various forms of social media. Obviously, we prefer 16 by nine for most things we do, but there are times where uh, you would wanna do nine by 16 or one by one. You can also create a uh, four by three, but that's 
kind of outdated at this point. Uh, I hope this has helped. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.